Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath the veil of darkness.
Mario Eclipse. Wahoo! So let's start at the top. Um, you see the Boo, the Boo statue from the hotel. Um, the Boo is going to be the spawn of the level. And you walk out of the Boo's mouth, because he has a tongue, and you spawn on his tongue. So you start the level on his tongue, and if you want to exit the level, you walk into the Boo's mouth or something. Okay. Um, anyways, then there's going to be some these poker chip platforms that are these stacks of poker chips. And they extend up from the death plane, basically, so there's just like an endless pile of poker chips sending up from the death plane. Um, you can make them stop actually, you know, but yeah, that's the idea behind those guys. Um, so if you, see, if you see that little symbol, that little drawing somewhere in this drawing, that means that's what it is. It's like a, a tower of poker chips. Okay, yeah, because I was going to say that's going to use a lot of polycount. 
Yeah, I mean, you could come up with some, like, texture to use and just make it a single, a single circle stack and then, like, make a couple. True. Yeah. You can make it one giant circle and then, like, a, just have a couple things peeking out over the edge or something. Um, okay. but anyways, um, then the main area that's after those platforms is this poker table. Uh, I have a little picture of the poker table right there, green carpet sort of poker table thing. Mm -hmm. Then in the center of it all is this, um, card tower, um, which I have laid out in a certain, like, like, layout. So yeah, I have this little arrow line that says flow of mission. That's a little arrow, that line with oh, the, all yeah, the little okay. arrows on it. So that shows you what direction the level is taking you. So you're going from that spot of the, the card tower over to here, up and all around over these moving platforms, blah de blah de blah blah up until you make it to the shine at the top of the card tower. Um, now, you see that little flipping board from Mario Sunshine, the blue flipping board? Yeah. Alright, so basically that's going to be your playing card, and you're going to have the playing card going back and forth on that rail, and it'll be flipping around. And so I drew out those little rails with dots in a line. Yeah, okay, yeah, I yeah. see that. Mm -hmm. And so there's all these playing cards that are moving around in the air, and so you'd platform up these flipping playing cards to make it to the top and get the shine. Okay. And then that would be mission one there. Um, then you have, if we go to the right, um, there's that like roulette I was talking about. There's the cherry, star cherry, or whatever. And you can have it replace the model of the Rico thingy. Um, that way it rotates and stuff. And so there's three little rotating um, sort of like tin can shaped things the roulette wheel. Yeah. See what I mean? Wait, you said from Rico? Yeah, you see the picture of the, the spinning guy from Rico? Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. The roulette thing? Yeah, you yeah. See what yeah. I mean? Alright. You get the idea that that's replacing that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, then there is the um, board, um, and the white squares will be lava, and the black squares would be land. And so... You'd go to, you'd jump on the black squares, and you'd need to get across the giant ponds from crushing you. And then after that is that that circular trampoline. After that, there's like a pond that just takes you to the circular trampoline section I was talking about, with the poker chips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that part. Yeah. So as long as you, yeah. And then after that, there's that little board game that I was talking about, just to have some free slopes in there. Um. And then there's a set of pawns that will crush you, and then a single pawn that just goes left and right, and then another set of uh, roulette, roulette jumps. And then you get the shine. Okay. Yeah, that, one's, that one seems good. Yeah. And then at the bottom, the bottom path, um, you got a couple more endless towers of uh, poker chips. Then you jump to these pencils, which are the pencils from the thing of Yahtzee. Um, and then there's that Yahtzee scorecard. And that's going to just be, like, a little safe platform for you to start at when you're trying to get onto the dice blocks. Um, and so you, since when you play Yahtzee, you shake the dice out of the cup. So those are the cups that the dice are coming out of. And I assume you're probably going to place the shine inside with the cup or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, the, 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 the dice block would just be, like, spinning downwards out of the cups, basically. And then that would be a shine there. Other than yeah, that, I so, got everything um, else. You see the you see the object that I have, the, the little crystal cube thing from that one secret course? Yeah. Essentially, you're going to make your dice block, and you're going to have two dice block a little distance apart. Yeah. And you're going to use those two dice block at a little distance apart to replace the singular uh, crystal -y block from the Mario Sunshine. Okay. And so, yeah. if it rotates, if it rotates like it does it, in the way that it does in the regular game, your two dice block will like rotate in tandem, and you have to jump between the two dice block. Okay, I, I think and, I, I think the the more the dice I was block, confused on was like the paths that these are going. Oh yeah, uh, actually, hold up. Let me let me draw it out real quick. Hold up. Just I'll, I'll draw it out like I'm trying to picture going. it like in game right now, like if you were playing yeah. it. All right, hold up. Maybe this makes a bit more sense. Uh, I drew some arrows. I'll put it in uh, your DMs. Okay. So, like, 
the as in the actual stage editor in the bin editor you're just going to make a pathway for these cubes to go like in this direction but since they're both replacing a single object they're going to end up rotating and stuff and like doing 360s and shit right okay it's it's, it's like it's like time for me to go to class so see ya
Kami menyebut bisa kalian.
Bro literally went from a human to like a bison. That's a furry. No. Brace in denial. He's not a furry. Coping mechanism. How is he not a furry? Because furries pretend to be animals. You know what? That's a fair point.